There is no better example of brotherly love than that exhibited in the life of Hiram Smith for the prophet Joseph Smith. They were as united and as affectionate and as loving as mortal men could be. Their strong bond of brotherhood grew even stronger at the bedside of their dying brother, Alvin. There's some sort of blockage. What do we do to treat it? I'm sorry. Be strong. Be strong. now the two of you you take care of each other Hiram was true to his charge no mortal man could have been more loyal more true more faithful in life or in death than was Hiram Smith to the prophet of the living God In Kirtland, Joseph made me a promise I did not understand. He said, if I desired it, I should have power to voluntarily lay down my life to glorify God. We do not ask people to give up any good that I've often have. thought about Joseph's words, we only invite them to come. and I have determined to do God's will, whatever it is. I could pray in my heart that all my brethren were like unto my beloved brother, Hiram. For truly, he possesses the mildness of a lamb and the integrity of a Job, and in short, the quiet spirit of Christ. And I love him with that love that is stronger than death. You shouldn't have come, Hiram. Someone has to take care of him. Betrayed by friends, Joseph and Hiram were transferred to a dungeon prison ironically called Liberty Jail. Joseph wrote to Emma from his confinement. Thus, we are bound together in chains as well as the cords of everlasting love. We are in good spirits and rejoice that we are counted worthy to be persecuted for Christ's sake. Mary? Hiram, I brought someone to meet you. We have a fine new son. One at a time. My wife had to suffer more than tongue can describe and had to move in the dead of winter to escape further persecution and injury. If anything should happen, kill Mary and the children. I know this work is true. What a faithful heart you have, Hiram. And kneeled and offered up the desire of his heart to God. Years later, in perilous circumstances of his own, Hiram's son, Joseph F. Smith, lived up to his heritage. We kill Mormon. You a Mormon? Yes, sir. -y. Dad in wool. True blue through and through.
<laughs> you are the pleasantest man I ever met. I like a man who stands by his convictions. This same son, as the sixth president of the church, later declared, We have got to meet opposition as it presents itself, battling against it with the weapons of truth which God has placed in our hands. God intends to try us, to prove us, and he has a right to do it, even to the death it needs to be. In Nauvoo, as Joseph and Hiram worked side by side to complete the temple, persecution was again a constant companion. We would not be surprised to hear of the death of Joseph Smith by violent means. This isn't news, it's a threat. If we go to Carthage, Hiram, we will both be butchered. Whatever happens, Joseph, the Lord is in it. You know, you don't have to come with me, Hiram. There's still time for you to get away. We promised Alvin that we'd take care of each other. Remember? <clears throat> I love you, brother. Oh, Hiram. May the eternal Jehovah crown eternal blessings on your head as a reward for the care you have had for my soul. In life, they were not divided. In death, they were not separated. From age to age shall their names go down to posterity as gems for the sanctified. <laughs>